Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chicken Galaxy. Welcome back to another video. This one's kind of different than what I usually do. What we're going to do is my top 5 Super Bowl contenders. So hopefully you guys like this. It's just my opinion, so you can disagree with me all you want. And if you want to see more of this series, I guess, just drop a like down below. Then it'll be very well appreciated. But no one's forcing you. Let's get started. Okay, starting at number five, we have the Seattle Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks have a great offense and a good defense led by Russell Wilson, Tyler Lockett, Jimmy Graham, Bobby Wagner, and Cam Chancellor. The Seahawks are five and three right now. The only reason why the Seahawks are at number five is because they have a tough NFC to compete with. So basically, the Seahawks do have a very good division. They have a lot of difficult teams to play against. Even though they have good players, they're worthy of making. At number four, we have the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles have lots of young talent on both sides of the ball. Carson Wentz is having a terrific year with 23 touchdown passes and just five interceptions. Philadelphia is 8-1 and one right now, but the only reason they are number four is because the Eagles have lots of talent. But not like Super Bowl talent. They have lots of young guns. They're just not very experienced in the playoffs to this whole Super Bowl thing. Plus the Eagles have an easy NFC East division. Yes, the Eagles have a very bad division. They have the Giants, the Cowboys, and the Redskins. Yes. They're not the best teams. If you guys... Yes, I'm going to be annoyed to all those Giants fans. They lost again. They're 1-7. I'm happy. So, yeah, that's where you think the Philadelphia Eagles will be. Now at number three, we have the Kansas City Chiefs. The Chiefs have a mediocre quarterback with Alex Smith, but they have lots of talent everywhere. In the AFC West, the Chiefs are the only team with a winning record right now at 5-3, and three, coming off of three straight losses. The Chiefs have been good for a while now. In 2016, they made it to the divisional rounds until losing to the Pittsburgh Steelers. They have a good chance of making the Super Bowl. They have it in a while. And they've been a good team for a while. They have experienced players that have Travis Kelsey, Alex Smith, Tyreek Hill. They don't have Jamal Charles anymore, but without him, they can still replace him. So, yes, I think the Chiefs will be good there at number three. Number two, the New England Patriots. The Pats have a star quarterback, Tom Brady, and lots of weapons on offense, including Ron Gronkowski, Danny Amendola, and Julian Edelman. On defense, they have a shutdown corner, Malcolm Butler. Right now, the Patriots are 6-2. and two. They have a tough schedule for the rest of the year, but the team is good enough to win the Super Bowl for like a sixth time. <laughs> kind of tired of them winning, but I think they can win. Not that I want them to win, but I think they will. It's not... Who I want, it's who I think. Obviously, I don't want the Patriots to win, but we got they can win. They have a good team. It's not that they're just cheaters, which they did cheat. You can't say they didn't, but they're still a good team. Maybe they would have never won Super Bowl Forty Eight, but does that really matter? Like they would still be good anyway. Yeah. Now at number one, drum roll please, is the Cleveland Browns. Just kidding. But actually, if it was still last season, they would have been Super Bowl contenders. So if you guys didn't know, the Browns beat the Chargers last year. And if you didn't know, the Chargers beat the Falcons. The Falcons were in the Super Bowl. So that means the Browns were Super Bowl contenders. But... We'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, no, we won't because we're not talking about the Browns being Super Bowl contenders. But the real number one is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Yes, I know they're my favorite team, but you know they're good. With the Killer Bees, Ben, Brown, Bell, and Boswell. <laughs> I don't know why I added him. Um... And Ben, yes, I said Ben. They could lead the Steelers to their seventh Super Bowl victory. On defense, the Steelers have middle linebacker Ryan Chazier, cornerback Joe Hayden, and outside linebacker James Harrison. The Steelers are 6-2 and two right now with a pretty difficult schedule ahead of them. You know the Steelers are good. They have the most Super Bowls in the NFL right now. 
You just can't say they're not a good team. Just look at Eli Manning. <laughs> yes, the Steelers are possible to win the Super Bowl. I actually think they're the number one team to win it. But that does not mean they are. That's just my opinion. And yes, I know they're my favorite team. That's <laughs> and you would have been like, why are the Steelers there? Apparently they're terrible. They're not. They're good. You know they are. So I don't care. Okay, so for the outro on this video, I know it's kind of not the best quality, but it doesn't really matter. So make sure you guys leave a like on this video, but you're not forced to leave a like. If you, But drop a like if you want more of this sort of series thing. I know I said that earlier. And also, this is my personal opinion. Don't say, oh, no, 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 you're very bad. Everyone knows that this team's going to win. Oh, the Jets are going to be Super Bowl champions for the, like, the second time in 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, make sure you leave a like again. Subscribe. But you don't have to. And I'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been busy. But now, bye.